to Roscoe McGlashan, Aussie Invader 3 was like a part of his family. Yeah, a sad day for WA, but obviously it's, uh, we would love to have kept the car here, but it didn't happen. In March 1994, on a remote salt lake in South Australia, McGlashan set a new Australian land speed record behind the wheel of Aussie Invader 3. 801.3 kilometres an hour. I think you can safely say that's the new Australian record. Yeah. Yeah. 21 years later, he's been forced to sell it to help fund his latest project, an attempt on the world land speed record. No one could appreciate how many... Uh, how many man hours are going into building this and how much work and uh, to think that this car has been built here in this shed, uh, built here in, in downtown Mullaloo. Aussie Invader 3 was loaded onto a truck earlier this week and taken to Gosford in New South Wales where it will go on display in a new motor museum. McGlashan's team wanted to keep it in Western Australia but no one would put up the money. The fastest car in Australia for heaven's sakes. Uh, the fastest motorsport vehicle in Australia, built right here in Western Australia by Western Australians, and nobody could be bothered about it. The only car in his Mullaloo garage now is his rocket machine, the speed monster that he hopes to drive at more than 1,600 kilometres an hour, which is faster than a bullet fired from a gun. We've still got a lot of stuff to do. There's, it sounds pretty easy to, to build a car like this, and uh, you put a rocket motor on the back and you go racing, but... The, the, the actual the technology, the science in making something like this happen is just absolutely mind-boggling. His opposition, the British Bloodhound Project, is a lot further advanced. They look like testing their car in the new year, but they've been operating on a much bigger budget. To this day, they've spent £45 million on that project, but they need to raise another £17 million pounds to run. I love saying to those guys every time I talk to them, we've spent $2.80 this year and two cartons of beer. Chris Young. Seven News.